Hey, Alan. Go ahead. Alan, you there? He's muted. He's muted. Okay. Bob, I'm going to unmute you. You can unmute him? Yeah. No, I guess I can only mute him. You have to unmute yourself. Go to the top of the screen, Bob, and the little five thing icon comes up. There you go. I guess you found it. You're in the teaching. Uh, you, you're going to have to redo that teaching. Was he coming out garbled to you guys? Yeah. 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 Hey, do, uh, Alan, you're going to, you need to redo that maybe next week because that's not going to tape well. I could understand you and I knew where you were going, but uh, it was real garbled from. Uh, I wasn't I sure. I wasn't sure if I was the only one getting that. Yeah, I'll uh, check the um, teaching t uh, tomorrow morning and see how it came out. Sometimes yeah. it come, you think it's going to be terrible and it comes out halfway decent. So I'll see what it looks like tomorrow. And Alan, I did read your post on Facebook. I even liked it. Uh, but I would, I want to, I want to recommend something to you. Are you with me? Hello, Alan. If you can hear me, nod. Okay. I guess he's deaf. <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. Wonderful. Bob, you came in to visit us tonight and we're having all kinds of technical difficulties. <laughs> hey, well, I'm going to share with you guys just because I think that it's important because what he shared, I think, is totally cool uh, about that expounding in the law and uh, uh, prophets and the Psalms. But uh, I think I think he pulled up short in Luke 24, and I think that's really, really, really important. And I'm going to share uh, my screen just to go to it, and and you guys jump in on this. And, and now the only reason I'm showing this is because if you highlight my screen on Luke 24, uh, the only reason I'm showing this, Alan, is because I think you got a good. Uh, 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 thing going there, but I think you pulled up short in verse 44 about what he was teaching them. Um, and that's the only thing I want to share because 45 says, He opened their eyes to understanding that they might understand the scriptures. And he said unto them, Thus it is written, and thus it behooves Christ to suffer and to rise from the dead on the third day. So you got the sufferings and the glorification and the resurrection. And that repentance and remissions of sins should be preached in his name among all the nations, beginning at Jerusalem. And you are witnesses of these things. And behold, and <laughs> behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you, but tarry ye in the city of Jerusalem until ye be endued with power from on high. And I know you already know this, but. All those other ands on top of the sufferings and the glorification, I think, are really significant because uh, what we understand about the mystery, the uh, this preaching among all the nations, beginning in Jerusalem, this witness of these things and this promise of the Father that they were going to be endowed with before the resurrection. I think plays a lot into what he was teaching them that was added to what he taught them in the uh, before his uh, pre-resurrection. And, uh, and I think we taught, I taught last week, and I think it's pretty significant because what you did in the opening of Romans, again, I think it's totally cool, uh, concerning his son, Jesus Christ, Romans 1-3, which was made of the seed of David according to the flesh and <laughs> declared to be the Son of God with power according to the spirit of holiness by the resurrection of the dead, by whom we have received the grace 
Paul takes it another step in introducing what we received by grace. And 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 application of what was it? I know you wasn't here last week, Alan, but it plays along with exactly what you're teaching. At the end of Romans, Paul is establishing his. I love I love Paul's Calcutta attitude in 16:25. Now unto him that is of power to establish you according to my gospel, <laughs> as a separate from uh, the other gospels. And the preaching of Jesus Christ according to the revelation of the mystery, which is the introduction that was brought in by uh, the Christian church, the, the ecclesia of the body of Christ, which was kept secret since the world began, which means that now you're getting it, but now has been made manifest. And then you have, by the scriptures of the prophets, according to the commandments of the everlasting God, made known to all nations for the obedience of the faith. So you have the carrying on of what Jesus Christ got them pushed off into. And Bob, I want your input on this because we had a conversation about these prophets as far as who they, who they actually are whether we're talking about the uh, historical Hebrew prophets or the Christian prophets. And I know that you corrected me on the, is it Aristic? Bird? Oh, oh the, the um, Aris. 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 That was in 1 Peter. Yes. Not, Not here. I agree with you totally here. Yeah, I'm going to go there because uh, I, I did, I re-listened to the, after we had our conversation, I re-listened re to it, and I see where I was uh, wrong on the verb as far as the tense, because as you pointed out to me, and I'm very thankful for that, that there's no significant time or anything with that. It's just a verb. <laughs> it says it was done, and right. it was done that way. But at the same point, I still have questions in here about how it's worded about these prophets prophesying of the grace that has come unto you, as Peter had put it. So that, that's, uh, that's what I'm still working on that anyways. That the grace coming unto you just throws me for a loop in that section. Well, maybe, Michael, one of the things is that I know that and maybe all of us, I don't know everybody's background here, but the grace, this is King James you got up on screen here, right? The grace, yeah, I, I the change. grace that should come unto you um, maybe makes it sound like it's, um, you know, you know, for reading it in terms of they, nobody else ever had any grace and this is grace now because it's the, you know, dispensation of the grace of God and the grace, you know, there's more grace now than there ever was. And I don't, I don't ascribe to that. I mean, <laughs> I think the context here in first Peter is talking about um, salvation, which you taught and, you know, generally salvation um, is, um, you know, saved from burning our butts up in the uh, lake of fire, you know, ultimately, you know, that's what we're all, whether it's the uh, pre-Israelitic saints, meaning Adam, Eve, Enoch, you know, Abraham, all these guys before there was even was in Israel, they were saved from the lake of fire. Israel believers were saved from the lake of fire. We're saved from the lake of fire. And this is the grace that should come unto you. Meaning, if you read the context here in first, I think it's first Peter, um, it's talking about the end times. So it's not just talking about us. Now, later on in the context in verse 12, it does talk about us. Um, because but that's, you know, a different story. So I think it's that word grace that sort of trips us up a little bit, that it's, 
you know, if it's talking about grace, it's always talking about the dispensation of grace. And that that's just not true. Okay. Cool deal. I wanted, I wanted to clean that up from last week. So that was big has been big on my heart ever since our conversation. Well, we got a lot. We we still need to do that, you know, working through verse by verse. We need to do that, you and me. So absolutely. Sounds like a plan to me. Anyways, aside from the garbling, which is which was I, I'm very distraught about because I was really into Alan's teaching and his music. So I would I'd recommend we do it again, Don, with uh, trying to clean up Alan's teaching uh, as far as so you can at least hear it. But uh, well, it was great that he came to fellowship tonight with such a joyful heart. <laughs> it's a joyful noise. Full of praise. <laughs> yeah, some good tunes there. Yeah, yes, I yes. really liked your little spirit and courage song <laughs> that you sang earlier. So I think it might be Alan's microphone. I hope yeah, you can hear myself. Alan? He has that headset on, and that's really strong. Yeah, I don't think he had that on. Yeah, but he was using it. Oh, and I believe so. That must have been something you know, else. You know, this thing is technically not. Can you hear me? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. My my uh, I I couldn't run both of them uh, because it was garbly. So I shut it off. Oh, you had two windows open. I had my cell phone, and now I'm on my laptop. I probably have to shut it off. Yeah, actually, that's the way to go, I think, where you are now on the laptop. Can you, can you hear me? When I get back here, you can't hear me. Yes, I can. Yeah, I can hear you better, actually. Really? I probably should have done it that way then. <laughs> can you hear? Yeah. You can hear that. Fork in the road, way will you go? Do you want to go your way? Are you willing to learn by the better way? Jesus Christ, the only way. One road's a high road, the other's a low. In your heart, I know that you've been wanting to know about a better way. Jesus Christ, the only way. You can hear that. Well, don't you see that you've got nothing to lose, I believe. And you can be free, living your life and receiving. Oh, one road's a high road, the other's a low. In your heart, I know that you should want to know about a better way. Jesus Christ, the only way. How's it sound? Well, I'm growing stronger day by day. Lots of life. Just drifting away. You made it your mind. You made a decision. You finally see all that you've been missing. On the highway, it lasts a little bump your feet. Day by day, more thankful you decided to hear about a better way. Jesus Christ, the only way. About a better way. Jesus Christ, 
that's the only way. A little rusty though. But by golly, I'm playing playing in front of people. Oh, you want to hear another one? I played the monkey song already, didn't I? <laughs> we didn't get it recorded though, did we? No, I'm not going to do the monkey song. I'm going to do this one. <coughs> I don't want to hear what it sounds like. You're recording this, right? I was walking along, biding my time, and looking for fun. Someone mentioned God. I took a deep breath, got ready to run. Thought that I knew all I needed about what he had done, but I never did see, all he wanted from me was to make me a gun, I won't be a clay pigeon, man-made religion that tells me I'm bad, but now that I know got nothing to do me and my dad men thinking men feel men bow men kneel that makes men glad while they're honking like geese I'll be walking in peace more than I ever had while the world I'll just sit in my time in prayer. The humble is up become holy ground when I'm over my father there. I'll open up and the sun shines down when I'm over my father there. Says in his word, I want to bear fruit, I need only a bite. So others can stray, they can walk clean away, they can drift with the tide. But he is my fire, my soul deep desire, none other beside. I breathe my last, may I always hold fast to the word of my God. All the world in time and time, I'll be sitting in my time and prayer. The humble earth has become holy ground when I move for my Father there. Open up and the sun shines down the line. Well, another blessed day fading away. See the stars peeping through. Before I go to sleep, gonna wrap up my heart and give it to you. Through the night you will be keeping watch over me like you promised to do. And I can't wait to spend time with you once again when tomorrow's a brand. While the world is alive and fair, I'll be time. Prayer. I'm going to 
You know, one of the problems I think we have with this is the Google thing is not set up to do this, to, to record music. It's, uh, I mean, you have to have some awesome recording of what, some awesome uh, microphones and probably uh, amplifiers of some sort to get it to sound right. Could you hear it? I could hear it. Yeah, we could hear it. It's just that, like I said, Google, I don't think is set up to do this, that sort of a thing, to record and... The quality is a little less than a bad AM radio. Yeah. <laughs> could also, but you can hear it all. You could hear it. Mm -hmm. Understood every word, heard every note. You you understood all of the lyrics in that song, really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, good. It's just like I said, it, it is not technically set up to do this. The, the, this little recording thing we have going here is just not. I mean, like if if you wanted to put a video up on YouTube, you would you know need much better equipment and all of that. And this is just not set up for that. Did you get your card yet, Don? What? Did you get your card yet? Yes, I did. I got it this afternoon. Everybody see it? It's the uh, Jesus Christ, the Diameter of the Ages card, and it flips out to plug into your USB port so that you can watch the whole class on one little itty bitty card. <laughs> nice. Carrying card. Yeah. And they sent those out to the elders. <laughs> Anyways, I thought it was pretty cute. I haven't tried it yet. I'll probably try it tomorrow sometime. Well, I'm gonna close shop. It's getting late. I was tired when we started. I was. It was likely I was gonna fall asleep before it even started. <laughs> so I'm glad I yeah, hung I out because I did. I did get healed during the teaching, so thank you very much, Alan. I was feeling I, really, really sick when I got here, and I don't feel sick. No well, more. you were garbled in what you were trying to say earlier, and I figured, oh, okay, I'm in trouble with Michael again. <laughs> I'm in trouble, dude. You healed me. <laughs> Can you be in trouble? No, I just recommended that in Luke 24, you don't stop where you stop. I looked at your post. I read your post, and I loved it. I love that red thread thing. But um, I couldn't hit love on the on the on the uh, Facebook, so well, I just I hit like. Shared, Michael, I could have shared a whole lot more than what I really wanted, but it would be a three-hour teaching. Yeah, but yeah. but just in Luke 24. <laughs> <laughs> just the, the latter part of Luke 24 when he's with all the disciples, just keep reading all the ands because that's all part of the apostles' doctrine. That's all I recommend. Yeah, I, I know. I know that. I wish I could. I wish I could have shared everything that was on my heart. But my God, I told, how long was the teaching? Was it a, a, a half an hour? More or less. I was trying to keep it very short. <laughs> You know, I could have made it a, a very long, drawn-out teaching, but, I, you know, I know what you're trying to say, but I was trying to keep it short. I'm not trying to cut off the word or anything, but, no, no, you know, uh, my, anyway. what I'd like to try to do is make people hungry, you know, it spark their interest. If I, if I get long and drawn out, people may fall asleep on me. But I also I recommended it, and of course it's up to Don ultimately. But that you redo the teaching without having the double thing up, because 
that recording is not going to come out well. I, I, I'm pretty sure it isn't going to come out well, too. Um, we could uh, record it. You know, when's a good time for you, Alan? When do you want to re-record it? I don't know if I can duplicate that. <laughs> yeah, you can. You did it on Facebook and you did it to us. It's it's good, don't you can definitely reduplicate this follow the same format, dude. It's it needs to be posted. It's very good. Yeah. Believe me, there was one night we had technical glitches all through my teaching. And that weekend I just sat down and re recorded the thing. So oh. I guess I could do that on my own with uh well, fine. If you can do it on your own, do it, and then send it to me. Okay. Or if you want to do the editing yourself, do the editing. But it's a good I teacher. Know. I'd have to study. I've got so much stuff going on right now that I I don't know. I can't guarantee anything. I, I come home tired about every day. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm well. extremely tired. It was a fairly busy day. I, I'm home tired, but I'm all energized now for some reason. Yeah. Well, you taught the word. That always does it for me. <laughs> but we seem to have lost Chris and Bob. They got bored with us, I guess. Um, Bob Wasson? Yeah. Really? Bob, yeah, that was Bob Wasson. Look familiar. Oh, and, my gosh. You mean I talked in front of Bob Wasson? Yeah. He's a Syriac expert. Huh? He's a Syriac expert. Oh, I'm probably in real big trouble now, aren't I? <laughs> I, I talked in front of Bob Watson. He's going to go around and tell everybody. You should have heard that fool trying to teach the Bible. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I know he won't yeah. do that. Yeah, it's you know, funny. I'm intimidated by guys like that who have, who have such tremendous knowledge of the Bible because I'm so afraid I'm going to screw up. Well, I wasn't paying much mind to that this evening. I was having fun. <laughs> you know, I don't, I don't mind screwing up and people telling me about that because I, I want to be able to correct my screw ups. Yeah. I don't want to continue screwing up. <laughs> exactly. So anyway, that was fun. I had a blast. It was energizing. Yeah. It was exhilarating. Well, if it didn't help anybody else, it helped me. It healed me. I told you, dude. It healed okay. me. Oh, I heard you. I was sick. I was hey, sick. even, with, even with a bad... Give me a break. <laughs> even with a bad connection, the Word of God heals. Right? Yeah. <laughs> That's a good one. That it's be. pretty powerful. Sharper than any two-edged sword. Cuts so, through all that static. <laughs> at least we'll be able to do my... If even if Alan's part doesn't come out, my thing will come out, I'm sure, and this part will come out, I'm sure. But I would suggest, Alan, you get that re recorded somehow. I could probably do a much better because I didn't study on this. This is just kind of a spur of the moment that's, uh, oh, well, from over the weekend to today yeah uh, actually i did study and that was part of that roman series that i what was that two years ago when i started doing the romans thing right something like that one of the first things that i taught was that very thing it was so long ago i forgot i'll have to go back and re-listen to it but i included that because that's part of you know, the first four verses of romans that good news, the gospel regarding Jesus Christ, and then what all the uh, the apostles' doctrine, what they knew at that time. I'm sure that I shared that. And I'm rambling now. I'm getting tired. You guys, I'm going to sign on off. Love you guys. It was fun. Okay. Had a blast. And uh, thanks for your ears and your attention. I'll be praying for you guys. We love you. We love you, Alan. You're the so, best. And we All miss right. you when you're not here. Yes, At we least do. I do. Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night.
So you guys want to call it early night or? Oh yeah, I gotta go. Yeah, I think I'm ready. Yeah. Okay. I love you guys. Right. Good night, everybody. We'll see you next week. Same bat time, same bat channel.